previously. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Knight, and welcome back to Paper Mario! It's been a little bit since I've played this, but uh, we're going to get right on our way out of the Boggly Woods and back home. So yeah, we got shit to do and people to save and stars to catch and you know the drill. What is this? No, for real, what is this? Whatever. Maybe I should jump here? Maybe I can switch the wrong button. Forget what my buttons are. Can you do something with this? Nope. Okay. I have no idea what's going on there. So we're going to go back here. And we're going to go in here. And there's something over here I could do. I think there's a way to get up there from here. I think if I just go... Yep. Okay. Secret passage! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! I know that I can use her to do something else. Uh, oh, go away. Haha, you can't even hit me. Um, Did I get an upgraded hammer? No, I did not. Whatcha? Okay. Ah, tangled up in the cord. Okay. Got one star point. What? What is that bullshit? Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, fine. Let's switch and just use your power shell. Kill them both. <coughs> I don't even care. that coin mm. okay here we go this is where I can use my, uh, Madame Flurry and do this oh I got a chest Ooh. I don't what is my happy heart is two I have anything I'm wearing that I don't care for? Oh, I already have that. Wait. Oh, this ally. Ooh. Not really all that worried about it right now. Is this where I got my power? Yeah, there's nothing in here. No? Okay. Hmm. Alright. And up we go. And in we go. I can go in here. Don't know what for, but I can. Oh yeah, to get to the other side. No, I was so close. Let me up. Shit. Okay, well, at least I can save. Please let me up. Oh, fuck it. Alright, let's put the star on here. <coughs> now my little Mario, it's crystal star time. I forgot how to do her voice. Ah, oh my. Think of her like an old southern uh, black lady. Because like the whole New Orleans accent and stuff. Yeah. She's so cute. <laughs> shiny. Because I'm shiny. Okay. What the fuck is even... Okay. Whatever. Good. 
The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Okay. What's it say? Oh, mercy me. The next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Mm. I have no fucking idea. That means that buddy the top. <laughs> this town, this thousand year old ruins remain attacked. Is that his voice? I, I don't remember. And that door has been sold off for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we must muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just deaf, but why would they want to steal this treasure away at all? Do they fear thieves and brigands? If not, they would. No, that's not. That's not what. What are you talking about? I don't know. What? what do you, mean you don't know. Frankly, please. I'm sorry. So sorry. I know that the treasure was sold away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is that starting to stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll just make a well, you know the saying. An ass out of you and me. Oh yes, how inappropriate. Why don't you just say an ass out of you with me? Like, oh, this is a kid's game, and never mind. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Mm. Very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena where the great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families gather on vacation and lounge and enjoy the fights, but... Behind the scenes, there were just people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So, are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. Special blimp flies there. It departs from rogue ports several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain, uh, channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the, uh, seedy side. Show me the way. Mm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much of a choice. Where on the street is, all the tickets go through Don Pinata on Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza, and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. What the fuck do I have to do to talk to this kind boss? Hey, this area is the turf of Ishtel and the Robo Band of Thieves. The boss is usually heading out and back that alley a few people can spot. This way? Oh, I've already been here. Why do I care? I like how I've got footprints here telling me to go that way, though. That's pretty cool. Do, do, do. I don't even care anymore. Let's just go this way. Can I hit this now? Nope. No, I cannot. Worth the shot. Hmm. Alright. Yo! It's my brother's shop. Somebody looked at my own shop. That'd be nice. Didn't I already talk to. Who the fuck? Hey, 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 yo. I got all the hottest products right here. Look no further. You got that fever look of a man with a mind for goods. Wanna buy something? Ooh. What is this? Whoa. Slugger? Why would I do that? Ooh. My garage badge. Hey, yo, I should have known. You know it, do you see what my man? Unbelievable low price for this mega rush is only 60 coins. You need one BP to wear this badge, you know. Want to buy it, my man? Yes, I please. Hey, yo, thanks very much. That isn't the last of my hot, hot products, though. Want to buy another? Yes, please. I want the shooting star. Oh, yo, you got yourself some expensive taste, my man. The surprisingly low price for this shooting star is only 36 coins. Want to buy it? Yes, I please. Yes, I please. Hey, yo, thanks very much. That isn't my last of my hot, hot products, though. Not really. What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limited time offer. I change the goods I offer from time to time, so come back real soon, alright? I definitely do not want the warrior outfit. I'm sorry, I do not care for Wario or Waluigi. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that. Hey there, 
fellas. Welcome to the Tempra's Bazaar. What can I do for you? I am here to store. I can store 24 more items for you, fella. Want to store something? Yes, please. I'd like to put this up. And I think that's it. Three headed mushrooms. I got an extra mushroom on me. But that's never a bad thing. Okay. Where's it go? I already gave the contact back to the woman, right? I think I did that off camera. Yeah, I already did. Can I go back here? No. Okay. Where's the shot? We're not over guarding. <sighs> Sorry. Not even sick. Why is my nose running? Okay. Uh, let's go in the store. <sighs> go talk to the random people that live in this place. My man just plays games all day long. She doesn't have a job. She never cleans. It's terrible. Uh, oh, sorry? <laughs> my man spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere with my novel. I wish I could have fun, too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Ooh, I see this. I am very confused what is happening here. I feel like I can do something here, but it's just not working. I mean, you see this, right? I'm very confused. I do the theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like drama so much is because I live in a town like this. Has it been this fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good? It's torture for fans like me. The important thing. Yo! What are you doing in here? What's up, buddy? And another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize of the Happy Lucky Lottery today, but I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh, well. I'm actually rich any already rich anyway, so whatever. Uh, okay then. I guess people on this side of town are rich. That's a big ass pipe. Yo, what up? Ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. What up, man? Dom Pinata? Are you kidding? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really, really want to see him, ask for a uh, something east out of town about him. Yeah, I bet Ishnaut will know how to get in touch with Dom Pinata. Pinata. I almost fell down that great. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to and all too well. I don't want to go there. Ooh, I could go down the gate. Oh my god. You are a big ba bomb. Happy Lucky Lottery Board. Ba bomb lottery rules. Jackpot. All numbers match. Second prize. Yep, okay. 3592. Dum da da dum da to everybody. Today's a lucky day with a happy lucky lottery. But do numbers every day, the lottery's fun exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Okay? That's the way. Happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick numbers, they might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on the board and see if your numbers come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. When I say midnight, I mean according to Nintendo GameCube clock. So go ahead, buy a number only 10 cords for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for 10 cords? Sure, why not? Oh, happy, thank you. Here's your number. 8808. You can use the same number until you win a jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board right out and see if you've won. 
I know that I have not because I already checked the board. Ooh, I need a bomb for this. Hey, there's a shop over here. Hey. Hey there, cuter. Welcome to the West Side Goods. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing, thank you. I am going to buy this, though. Well, it's going to be 50 coins for that live stream. Care to buy it, cutie? Yes, sir, please. Aw, oh, thanks, sugar. Okay. I'm actually going to give you these. Hmm. I'm going to store both of these live streams. Ow. Alright. And do I have money for this? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these. And give you these mushrooms. <coughs> Sorry. Ow. Okay. Your side's a little crooked. Neonta Parlor. Hey. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. Can I gamble here? I love checking my scores on the machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're all so independent. They're happy as doing their own things. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. Was it now? You want to know how to get a Mimit's card, do you? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. Psst. This place is right by Don Pignata. You can play fun games in here while Pignata tokens are redeemed for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. Okay. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Ice Game Princess Peach is important work, but even here is in relaxation. So what can I show you? You can trade in the payantas you won for prizes. But some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, that's too bad. Come back if we decide to trade in for something. I am the Pinata Changer Changing Machine. I am called Pianto Changer. Exchange one Pianta for three cords. One to exchange. B da BB. Exchange complete. One to exchange more. Thank you very much. Come again. Try this one. Aw. You have no Piantas. Get some Pinatas first. Well, I tried. What is this? This is the scoreboard. Choose the score to check. No, oh, thank you. Paper game? I want to go back here before I go down there. I know I need to go see Ishnel, but whatever. Whoa. I tell you, I like just standing here gazing at the train more than I would like already get. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool my engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better, but if I could just afford it to get my ride at once. <sighs> Whew, this train is bound for luxurious part, possibly heights. So will you be boarding today? Wonderful. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. I'm sorry, but only ticket of passengers are allowed on the train. Security measures. Oh, fine. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you gotta love the train's platform, man. I bet this place has seen many dramatic encounters since the uh, stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all. I just love it. 
What's this? I don't know. Fishy, fishy. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? No. We look forward to your next flight to blimps. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and save again, because why not? Alright, let's go to the sewers. We're doing nothing but running around talking to people. Oh. Interesting. Where does this go? Oh! I'm on the other side of town! About damn time. Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant doorway down there, aren't you? What do you think is behind that thing, huh? Mm. Yo. Yo, what is mask here? Sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? Just press A with the perfect time and turn into a tactical off a stylish move. Do it right, the crowd will go nuts. And some attacks will have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. Right after you hammer an enemy, try pressing A. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. Okay. Okay. What is that noise? Um, did you get me in a Disney shirt too? Excuse me? You're an adventurer? Really? Wow! That's the first time I've ever heard anyone describe their occupation as adventurer. What is that ridiculous noise? Whoa. I did not know I could walk down here. I got shoes. I think I'll walk slower down here though. Alright, I guess I'll go up there now. There's something back there, I have no doubt, but I want to go here first. I bet you have interesting things. What is this? Ooh. Oh, this is where I get this stuff. Why would I want a gold bar? I'm going to go back here now. There is nothing back here. It is noon. Oh, a visitor, eh? Hey, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some serious good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, okay. I know stuff, too. Seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the crater will fall. I just don't know why it falls, because no one tells me. Can I talk to you, please? This is a special refuge for any, uh, all where... This is a special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb teas, please. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Okay. Howdy! My name is Wonky and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may even be stuff that can help you. So if you want to ask me a question, just speak up and ask away. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Something you want to ask old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, I suppose I could tell you about the Pianta Parlor. Uh, no. If you need to know stuff about stuff, just ask me. I'm good. I already know I need to go see Ishmael. I just wanted to see what was down here. Is there something back here? There's no Heidi stuff. Ooh, there's stuff in there, though. How do I get in there? Uh... I can't- oh shit. Ow. Rude. Fuck you. Just fuck all of you. Rude. I get the spiky bullshit. Oh, mushroom now. I'm feeling I need to do something there. I just can't figure out what. Yo, man. Awesome. Actually. Eh. I 
got two messages from someone. I feel oh, I got a star piece. Okay. I was like, I know there's something back here, damn it. What's this way? Where am I now? I was gonna do a stylish move, but I don't know how. Alright. I need to use a flurry to blow that away. Right after I get this stuff. Whatever. I'll just do this. There's another pipe here. And this goes over here. Oh, that's a little place for a boat. All right. So I know I can go this way into the pipe, but I want to see what's over here first. I don't see anything in there. I don't see anything in there either. What's this way? Ooh. Whatever it is, I can't get it. I guess we're going down here. Pardon me. This does not look like a fun room. Oh, this is the trials. Yeah, no. I am not prepared for this terrifying place. At least I'm back here now. I. Okay. I would just keep going this way then. Is there anything else here that I just completely missed? No. Okay. Do whole lot of nothing. Nah, that didn't work. Okay. Come on. Back up I go. Well at least I'll be on the east side of town so I can see Ish now. Wait, what's this way? Have I been here? Oh, um, ninety percent sure I have, but no, I don't have anything to hide me. I'm gonna say no, I haven't been there. Well, this looks interesting. I bet there's a place I could explode there. But all right, up and away. Okay. Let me out. Is there something over here that I could do? I think I already did it. What's this way again? It's like get back to the city, right? Yeah. I don't trust that dude for a second. Oh, yeah. How do I get... Oh, that's right. There's a pipe there. Do I still have the... Yeah, I still have the curse. Curse. Alright, now I could go talk to Ishno. <sighs> believe he's in here, right? Dude, you're Ishno, right? Oh, me? My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome beef. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks in our town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnel, the boss of Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of all geology and now an amazing thief. Haha! -ha. Ishnel's in here, right? Yeah, you. 
You want something, chump? This is the fortress of robo thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it a vacation. No, oh, I need to talk to Pinata. Uh, P Pianta. You know who I am talking about, right? Was it? You want to meet that lion, cheating, still a no good, jerky for brains, Don Pianta? Oh, yeah, somebody is. Filthy is like a up as poor as dirt. Never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? Yes, sir. And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us, too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb. Yes, sir, please. Hi, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budgeting on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey. Them's the breaks. Y you'll pay? Really? You don't have enough cash, you dirty cheat. You can't pull a fast one on this snail. Please come back after you knock over a bank or something, chump. Damn it. I wish I had known that before I paid all that money. I use this to get back. Wait, how do I get up there, actually? Whatever. I guess I'm gonna go to the shop and sell shit. Actually, I'm gonna talk to this dude first. Yo, my man. What up? Nope, wrong one. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I force all your arrivals. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Uh, Flurry. Shall I power up this partner? Yes, please. Shazibi! If I missed the power box, right? Shazubi! Look at my mustache, it's so big. Yay! Power up! Then you may go. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go get some money. Hey, Luigi! You have a partner. To Ravobam Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventure. It was a pretty nutshell, but bro, what to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Ravobam Volcano. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Putin continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days floating through the dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was dead in for bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but it's fate would have it. A blooper named Louie heard me shrieking and found me and went down. Louie was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Blue is a madman back in his hometown that called him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tougher guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to rub up a volcano. This place was about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun that's wet. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one was all this gigantic hundred foot tall of a statue that stomped around. Now the weakest of this giant statue bro was a red gem on its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a longer shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot and all you man, I said. I waited for the pause of the statue's up movement and then hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. The true lookout whacked. It was a critical hit, and the stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was no nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of a marvelous compass and put it in a base. Now the compass pointed west to Plumville Belly Village on the Struta continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. And that's all what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. If you want to know what I have been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around. I love hearing Luigi's side of the story. I hate that. I'm boy. This guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard the story, right? Well, he did try to know me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork at me. I'm all done. My pal skin's crucified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. And that's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. Aw, poor Bluey. Cub Bluey? 
I'm gonna save now that I've heard his story. And I'm gonna go try and get 60 something coins, 66. I think I just need to sell some more mushrooms. Yo, man. I'm here to sell. I'm gonna go ahead and give you both of these because I don't really know what to do with this. Hmm. Sell you some more mushrooms. I'm actually gonna take something out of storage and sell it to you. Uh. Thunder Age. And another regular mushroom. I'm gonna sail. Thunder Age. And a mushroom. Four more coins. I guess I could sell my other two mushrooms. <sighs> I'm sure I'll get more. Okay. Let's go give this to um, Ishmael. There. Can't take it back. Crispy blooper. I was wondering why he was that color. Now. Oh, wait, yep, there you go, that's way more. <laughs> okay. Go go in go in the door. Thank you. Alright, additional. I have your money. Yes. Oh, I thought it was 66 coins. Alright. Yes, I mean, uh, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay, then. Clean those ears and listen here. There's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlor, buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them that order. Dried shroom and dizzy dial. You got that? do that the shop keeps gonna ask what your favorite color is you answer yellow you got that not green not blue yellow see yellow is the password for getting into dawn scumbags oh so comfy office you got all that yes i'm gonna go do that real quick before we go i think it's just one coin to buy those right if it's not i'm gonna be so sad Uh, is, can I get over here and do anything? No. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. Hey, hey, my name is Goomther. Please find the guy that pulled the credit card off me. I'll be in Rogueport Plaza. Come talk to me. Yep. I'm actually going to do this and earn some money. Sold all my shit. I forgot this place existed. We're gonna go help him and then save. Doomther. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? Yeah. You're not the one that needs fraud? Okay. What about you? Hey, you're here to handle my trouble, aren't you? Then listen up. Larson, the man that pulled some. Larson? Pulled some credit fraud card fraud on me and took my dough. I want to rough him up for it, but the guy's too wise. I can never catch him. He's hiding somewhere in Rogueport, so I want you to find him. By the way, bandits are those guys in blue outfits who wear his mask. There's several in Rogueport, but this one will fess up once you grill him. Do this, and you'll get your reward. I'm counting on you. I bet it's the guy that's back here. Why am I running so slow? Yo. Larson. It's not a problem. They can just barge in my hideout, buddy. You're, you're probably just jealous. Someone's snooping around. It's a perfect hideout spot. With all the garbage, there's tons of flies and stuff. Who want to come in here? Are you not Larson? 
I thought you were Larson. Some sort of Koopa dudes wanted. Okay, well, if he isn't Larson, then who is? Probably the guy on the other side of town, right? Over in the... Over here? Are you Larson? Hey, this area is turf. Yeah, okay. You're not Larson either. Good to know. How do you think this dude is heightened? Hey, where is he at? There's a safe spot on the other side of town, right? Is there one in there? I don't think so. No, I didn't think there was one in here. I guess we'll find Larson next time. For now, let's go save. Oh well. Got a whole lot of nothing done. Alright. Sorry about that, but I'm going to end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Where I shall you now. Bye.